And today we'll be spotlighting Alex or a Bruce Ayami YouTuber YouTube. Um, Alex has been one year on YouTube. He does gaming videos normally upload two to five times per week. Um, his Steam name is Bruce Gaming YouTuber. We'll be down in the description below. He's partnered with Freedom, always helping the Freedom family. And yeah, so let's get ready for this channel spotlight series. And once again, if you don't know what the channel spotlight series, basically you can enter through the link in the description below, and I will put your name on the list, and I will go through and review your channel and tell you what's going on good, what's going on bad, and then I will also give you a shout out and subscribe to your channel. So, let's get started in here. Whoopsie. So. BTG, very self-explanatory, and it's a great logo, so people understand what your name is, Bruce Game YouTuber, for instance, and also it's eye-catching and doesn't have too much contrast in it. Um, looking at the cover image, um, very nice design credits, name right down the middle, easy to read, and Counter-Strike, yep, everything looks good there. The intro, the intro is pretty good. Um, good things I like about it, the music, the contrast in, and the gameplay footage is clear, easy to read, easy to see. The only thing I don't like is this part where it goes. <laughs> not as eye-catchy as someone would have like animated this is just slides going across the screen so it works the video is great length however if it was more eye-catchy like animation type instead of slides going across the screen that would attract more viewers as well so just keep that in mind this is short sweet and to the point um, you could add a little bit more background in but the spacing is good enjoy yep it's all good and we're going to look over here at his popular channels for latest fish channel. Mm -hmm. What you want to do, what I would recommend doing, is having a friends list and um, favorite YouTubers list like I do. Because if you have a friends list, then that shows like other people, like, oh, this guy's friends with this guy. Well, then maybe we'll like his content and vice versa. And also, if you have your favorite YouTubers, they'll be like, oh, say you have Sky does Minecraft, for instance. Oh, this guy likes making funny commentary videos in Minecraft. So maybe he does the same thing. So that's what you get out with that. Now let's go over to the videos. Um, looking at the first two here, um, the color contrast is all right. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like text over here and one color text over here, text over here, but it does work. It's clear to read, so it works in that case. Um, use of camera, that's fine too be good on um, this one I have no idea what the chicken story serial killer is I'll have to watch that video <laughs> um, CSGO but 
What I would recommend is for most of your videos add in channel art because someone looking at this is going to be like, oh, all right, what's so interesting about it? If you make it more eye catchy and have channel art like these ones, you're going to see the views go up. 68. Here you go, one plus. The views are going to rise. So that's what you're going to get if you start adding in more channel art and taking the time to do that. Even if you get someone else to make it for you with their credits, it's still going to work. So keep that in mind. Um, playlists. Everything is good and organized in the playlist category. Um, good covers, skin, covers, hold on. Channels, these are descriptions. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing in the discussion yard. And the about page. Everything is nice and spaced apart, which is good. I like that. That's one thing I especially because it's just looking at it, it's easier to read. Um, email address so people can contact you. That's a good thing. And then Facebook is visible. It's simple. This channel is very simply put down. And a little bit more work with the art and the videos. Looks looks like the video editing is pretty good. Just add some animations, add some more effects. Um, there's programs that can do that rather than some. I mean, some people are great at Photoshop, and you can find people that will do this stuff for you. But those, like I, I don't use Photoshop. I use Windows Movie Maker, and I can get some cool effects. I also have some other editing software that if I want to add something special in, I can throw it in the video and then throw it in Windows Movie Maker and edit that way. But it's all time, and you have to get used to spending time on here. If you're not serious about it, you're not going to get as many viewers and subscribers. So on that be note, hit that subscribe button. And I suggest all of you guys viewing this to go do so. So, thank you all for watching this channel of Spotlight number three with Bruce Cannon Super. Um, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like and go over and check out Bruce Cannon Tuber's channel. The link will be in the description below. His Steam name will be also in the description below, so you can go and add him on Steam if you so choose. Um, um, comment down below if you have any recommendations for this series in general, or if you have any comments on his channel and you want to add stuff that I missed, leave your own suggestions down in the comments. Just make sure you use the plus Bruce Gami Tuber or plus my name so the, l so the message is sent to us so I get a notification on my phone that someone sent me a message or someone replied to a comment, someone liked, stuff like that. That's how it works. Everything is run through my phone. This, this is all on desktop. But I get all my notifications through the phone. I don't really check the YouTube notification box. So on that you note, know, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to go check out Bruce Gammy Tuber in the link below. And if you want to sign up for the series, the link will also be down in the description below. So that's all I got for today, and I'll see you guys later.